This morning is going to be what? A good morning. Why don't we kill people by saying bad morning? Everybody you will see in life says good morning. And sometimes somebody will ask you, what is good about the morning? Because to them, it's not a good morning. Is that right? Yes. To them, it's not a good morning. They may have encountered something. They may have heard something. Somebody may have shown some attitude or character. That, may- that you have to be silent. And one of those third points is that when you haven't verified the story on the table, you have to be silent. Let those who talk or who want to talk, should talk. Am I communicating someone? Okay. So, Deuteronomy chapter number 17, verse number 6, Deuteronomy says, whoever is deserving of death shall be put to death on the testimony of two or three witnesses. He shall not be put to death on the testimony of one witness. Did somebody hear that? It's not because somebody, you heard someone say it. It means that it is. He says, whoever deserves to die, if there is a matter or if there is any situation that arises between any individual and you are supposed to act on it, don't act on it because one person said it. Remember, it can be his word against his. That's right. And that one doesn't, doesn't solve any problem. But get two or three witnesses, three witnesses. Right. who shares the same thing mm. and then verifies it before you act on it. Mm. So especially with the leaders, church leaders, house people who are leaders in your families like a mother and a father, people who are leaders in your workplaces, when a matter is brought to you, don't just judge them by this person. Oh, this person asks for this person. He doesn't lie. This one, oh, every time she... Uh, and you, no matter even when the person says that, you can trust me. Forget about that. Verify sit- situations before you act on it. He said, when a person deserves to die, fine, it's okay, but mm. make sure you get the witnesses to verify it. Mm. That's why in the court of law, we says that everyone who is accused is innocent until do what? Proving guilty. Now, what is a proving guilty here? You have to bring an evidence and you have to convince the person beyond reasonable doubt that this individual deserves to what? Die. So, in points, in certain times in your life, because the Bible says that in the belly of a man, let me read this scripture to you, Proverbs 18, Verse number 20. Let's read this proverb quickly and let me show you something. Uh huh. A man's belly shall, a man's belly shall be satisfied, shall be satisfied with, the fruit of his with mouth. the fruit of his mouth and with increase, and of, with his the lips increase of his lips shall be, filled. shall be filled. Did you hear that? Verse number 21. Uh huh. Death and life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it. And they that love it shall eat the fruit shall eat thereof. The fruit thereof. Did you hear that? Death and life lies in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat the fruit thereof. thereof. Am I communicating to someone? Beloved in Christ Jesus, can you see that death and life lies in the power of a man's tongue? And in the belly of a man. The Bible says that these good stuff or what calamity can struck you, they can all be found in there. Now, so you have to be silent at certain times in your personal lives. And one of them is when you uh, sense your ways can easily offend a weaker vessel. Have you noticed that sometimes somebody stops a particular church and you don't understand, say, ah, this trivial thing. Ah, this woman is not grown. This individual, ah, why can you stop church because this or because that? You see, we are in different maturity levels. It it is is said that what can scare a a, a, a dog for a dog to bark will not scare a cat. Because 
Everyone has their different maturity level. So, get to understand that there are weaker vessels. That friend you are working with can be a weaker vessel. So, it's not everything you hear about that friend you must tell that friend because that friend may be able to be broken down as a result of it. And there are also times you have to understand that that child of yours or that husband of yours, anything you said, there are certain people who are easily discouraged, who can easily fall, who can easily die as a result of the information they get. So you need to know who you are with. So let me read the scripture to you. First Corinthians chapter number 8, verse number 11. And because of your knowledge, shall the weak brother perish. Did you hear that? Your knowledge of knowing that this individual is weak, but I didn't know he's weak and any information I'm just carrying to this person, every little thing breaks this individual's heart. Every little thing provokes. There are some people who can handle certain situations, certain stuffs. So any time a message is carried, the person says, by your knowledge, shall the weak brother perish because the person is weak and you are not careful you can easily make that individual perish you know so many people who have backslided those people have backslided as a result of the fact that they got certain formations they got certain challenges that was presented to them which they didn't have the capacity to deal with Am I communicating here? You know, some people are easily to be angered. Mm -hmm. They can easily be angered. Easily. So, it doesn't matter. The thing could be trivial and it can escalate. That is one of the points you have to take note of. A, 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 a weak brother and a weak sister, a daughter of Zion, can die as a result of the fact that you couldn't keep your mouth shut. Now, point number five. Be silent when it is time to listen. There are times in your personal lives that you must listen much more than you talk or you say. I heard a, um, a great preacher put it in a very wonderful way. And he says that, do you know why God gave us only one mouth? but gave us two years. He gave us one month, but two years. Why two years? Because make sure you hear it and hear it again. Don't just hear and then act. Hello? Don't just do what? Hear and act. But make sure you hear and you hear it again. Mm -hmm. Now, to hear and hear it again in this particular context is make sure you hear from both sides. Before you won, you talk. And when I heard it, I loved that, loved that illustration. So, you got to understand this particular principle. Be silent when it is time to listen. There are times some people can't listen or won't listen all they know is that they know what they know so they carry what they want to carry but when you are in such a position as this individual you have to make sure that you act wisely because a man's belly the bible says that he shall be filled he shall be satisfied now proverbs chapter number 13 verse number one a wise son heals his father's instruction but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. A wise son. Meaning that a wise son hears, listens to what? Instruction. But a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. So when you are being taught, when you are being talked to, you have to try as much as possible to listen much more than you talk. When the time, when you fall short, when something didn't go right, listen but times we um the children of god or some people they are easily ready to jump and to make defense there are sometimes just listen 
and as you listen there could be something you would say uh, you, it will be said to you that you can catch wisdom or revelation from can i hear better amen amen be silent when you are tempted to make light of holy things there are times the bible says that let me show you this scripture first um not first um psalm one psalm one verse number one coming down let me read this scripture to you blessed is the man who walketh not in the